Rosh Hashanah, Jewish New Year, is uh, unfortunately uh, been mistaken in the way we take, you know, we, we deal with it. Uh, we think many times that Rosh Hashanah is like uh, the non-Jewish New Year's or Christmas or something like this, you know. It's uh, right? It doesn't go like this. Rosh Hashanah is not the New Year's and, um, and, and so on and so forth. It has nothing to do with that. Rosh Hashanah is a very significant day of the year. In Rosh Hashanah, all creatures of the world, all creatures of the world, are being judged in front of a Kadosh Baruch Hu, are being determined in front of a Kadosh Baruch Hu, if they're going to get another year, they're not going to get another year, what's going to be, and so on and so forth. Uh, countries are being judged that year. Everything is being judged that year. Everything. The Rambam says that this is in a way something that we should look for every day. Every day a person should look into himself and see and understand that his actions, his behavior could determine the fate of the world. Let's say right now the world is at 50-50. Right? Because the sign of what we say, the sign of Chodesh Tishrei is Moznayim. Balance. How to keep balance. So right now we're 50-50. Avelot, Mitzvot. The world is holding by a thread. Now you're about to do something. You know, do you know if your action right now is going to be the one bang this way or that way? Where is your responsibility? Where is your responsibility? What are you doing? Your action could tip the world now. Could tip the world because of you, you, you. Because of you, chas v'shalom, the whole world could be destroyed. Or the country, or the city, or who knows what. Where's your actions? Where's responsibility? In today's world, especially with governments, they tell you, don't, don't be responsible. Smoke your dope, smoke your marijuana, and you light your menorica, and all kinds of stuff. You know, people are concerned with kids drinking. They should be concerned with kids smoking. Don't worry. Big brother is taking care of you. You don't have to worry about it. Don't be responsible. We're going to be responsible. We'll fight the battles for you. No. You should be responsible for your actions. When we die, our neshama goes up. And the neshama gives a din v'chashbon for all the actions that we did on this earth in a split of a second. Because there's no time. And right there, you're going to be able to determine if it's going to be chova, chaz v'shalom, or or l'schut, merit, or not. Split of a second. Because all your actions would accumulate to one entity. And that entity, by the way, is you. So when you make the decision, you say, well, listen, you know, I listened to this tune, Right? But however, that's the tune that is not appropriate for a Ben Torah. That's the decision that we're looking for. So we'll go to Shammai and they give us a din v'cheshbon. First of all, we're going to say, listen, tzaddik or rasha? Huh? Mata. Ota, tzaddik. Or rasha. And then you say, atawa, is she or the man? And then we'll give us the cheshbon. The cheshbon is all the things you did. But first you have to give the sentence to what you said and then HaKadosh Baruch who seals it and then seals it as a met. The truth, but the real truth, not by name, the real truth. And then they're going to say, okay, let's do the cheshbon. Not only what you did good or what you did bad. At the time that you did bad, you could have done something else that was on the plate right now. And you did it, we're going to make the cheshbon that as well. Can't break even. That's the time of dying. That's where we're going to go up. And the Shema separates from the body. And we go up. That's what we're going to do. That's his Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah, kol ba'e olam. All creatures of the world come to judgment. Jews, Gentiles, everybody in front of a Kadosh Baruch Hu. So Rosh Hashanah is like a mini rehearsal for the time of dying. Don't take Rosh Hashanah 
is a jolly day. That's not a happy day. It's not it's a sad day, but it's a day full of awe. We take Rosh Hashanah and we mix it up, and then we take Yom Kippur and we mix it up. Yom Kippur is a Yom Tov. We wear white, we're happy, and so on and so forth. We, we apply, we apply uh, Kadosh Baruch Hu mercy, we say Slichot the whole entire day. Rosh Hashanah is the Yom Adin, is the judgment. Today that we don't have the Avodah of Bet HaMikdash, as we said in last week's parasha, the only path for us to do something is Tshuva, repentance. What does it mean repentance? Tshuva. You're going to have Tshuva. Not only Milshon Shav, you're going to come back. You're going to have an answer for what you did. Giving an answer. So what did you do that? means you have to be aware of what you're doing. And if you're aware of what you're doing, you'll be responsible of what you're doing. And we have to think about those things. What are we going to do? Rosh Hashanah is Eimah V'Fachad. It's Eimah V'Fachad. Of course, don't be sad. The person is not allowed to be sad in this day. Why? Because we have a complete emunah in the righteousness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu and the truthfulness of his deen. So we go with emunah. Unlike some nations, we wear white also, we clean up, we take our hair cut, we look, you know, clean and good. This is how we come to Rosh Hashanah. However, don't underestimate the magnitude of this day is Yom Adin. All the books are open in front of him and we take an account of what is happening, of what happened this year. One way to finish that the year appropriately is, you know, everybody in a race, everybody starts, you know, they're running hard. It's a long race. All of a sudden, people are falling. I can't do this. Rabbi, I can't run anymore. Rabbi, I can't do this anymore. Rabbi, I can't... Blah, blah, blah. But then there's going to be one guy who's going to stand up like this. He's the hero. How are you going to finish your year? I'm going to tell you how you finish your year. You finish your year by putting the pedal to the metal. Be careful with your actions. Learn. Learn because of a desire inside of you. We all have a desire to learn. We all have a desire to excel and to become closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We all. We need to find this inside of us. And we need to bring it about. But we all have this desire inside of us. Learn. Dedicate. Hard. With passion. Bring others to learn. Contribute to the overall strength of Am Yisrael. We all have to make tshuva, even those who don't want to. We all have to make tshuva. Otherwise, we are staying here as much as they are staying here. It's our mutual responsibility. To care for the public is a great schut that we all have. Try to find a friend. Bring him to Bet Knesset on Rosh Hashanah. Somebody who is not, let him hear the shofar. Maybe the shofar will awaken him for tshuva. Some people cannot go to a place of there's a shofar. So as much as there is no tchelet in our tzitzit, and we signify the, the, the placement of the tchelet by having a white, so sometimes by the silence, at least t- teach the person. Somebody cannot go to hear a shofar, tell him, listen, in the quiet that he's going to find inside of you, find the room to be, awaken yourself for tshuva. Bring yourself to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Awaken yourself. The, the, the song that we say, it's like written in the 11th century, in the, in the first century, something like that, right? 1100. 1100s. Ben Adam Malecha Nirdam, right? It's a song that comes to teach us basically to understand the emotional and internal awakening of a person. Don't fall asleep, not just falling asleep like this, but falling asleep spiritually. Wake up! Wake your neshama, wake her up. One way to do so is really to help us in the yeshiva with anything. Of course, if you can make a donation for the yeshiva, it will be greatly appreciated. We're able to reach people 
and to accept people for who they are with no predetermined determination about who you are, where you've been, what have you done, and so on and so forth. We need your help. So if you could help us with a contribution to Yeshiva, please do so. You can email us at rabbigaon at gmail.com. Uh, our administrator, Yonatan, will help you, will guide you through it. That's one thing. Another thing is just to send people to learn with us. And that will be the biggest contribution you could do. Send guys and people to learn and Be'ezrat Hashem, we all guide them to come together. We can all stand in front of Hashem to tell them at least we tried to do something. Limited as it is, but we did it from all our hearts. That's the true kavanah that we have because we really care about every Jew, wherever he is. And all the gemach hatimah tova, shana tova metuka, muchos años y buenos, tiskule shanim rabot, tovot, o metukot.